So, where are we?
Alessandra, is it really you? It is, my love. But you did not free me from within the Horned One. Hmm? The Horned One was not born of the wrath of the gods as you had thought. I wanted to be with you. I wanted it so much that I gave up the power of the Kingmaker. What? Once freed, that vast, insatiable power gave rise to a monster. The Horned One. No! Do you know how Kingmakers are born? They are born when a soul is sacrificed in order that a great power may be tamed. In unbinding my soul, I unleashed that power. By abandoning it, I committed an unforgivable crime. A crime for which I was punished. So you... You have not returned to me? Forgive me, my love. I am that which sealed away the Horned One's power. Only through my sacrifice could the power which poured forth from him be contained. Then... By unleashing him, I have undone what good you wrought. No, my love. For a great evil has left the world. The Horned One is defeated. And so, my role in containing him has come to an end. My soul can be at peace at long, long last. Thank you 
for never ceasing to love me. We will meet again, dear heart, not in this world, but somewhere, someday. Goodbye, my love, my Dalaran. Goodbye. Alyssa, no. Not yet. Alyssa! Tolerant. Alessandra is no more. Allegoria will not rise again. All that I have loved is lost. Roland? Tell me. What great wrong did I do to deserve this? Was it in surrendering to love that I erred? or in accepting a crown of which I was not worthy. You did no wrong. You just did what you could to keep your love for Alessandra alive and save your kingdom. That's life. People do what they can, try to live as best they can. And then the tide of history comes and sweeps them all away. My country was swept away too. I tried to stop it. Tried to prevent the war that would end it all. But you can't hold back the tide. And so it rolled in. I have an idea. Why don't we make a new allegoria? A what? Huh? If it can't be brought back, I mean. We can build a new one instead. A new one? We did it. We built a new kingdom from nothing. A kingdom where everyone could live happily ever after. It was small at first, but it grew and grew, and thanks to its wonderful people, it eventually became a great nation. You can do the same, Dolorin. You truly think this possible? Maybe that's why I was brought here. The country Evan and I built together. It changed things for you, Dalaran. For this whole world. No one needs to be a slave to the past anymore. Now we can look to the future. Evan Petty Whisker Tildrum. You are yet young. But you are a great king indeed. You really think so? I will start afresh. I will build a new kingdom for the sake of my departed subjects, for the sake of my beloved. Hear, hear! today to make a solemn oath in the presence of all our peoples. United we stand as, as one, one single, single land.
Hey. Well, Evan, see you around. Goodbye, Roland. Evan? Who are you? I think you know. You're King Ferdinand, aren't you? You've been helping me all along. Yes and no. I am Ferdinand. But it's really you who's been helping me. What? Everything I've told you, you told me first. I don't understand. This is going to sound strange, but... I can send my mind through time. It's a gift I've had since I was born. And using it to visit you seemed like the obvious thing to do. I mean, who wouldn't want to find out what his famous father was like as a child? Father? Yes, you are my father, and I am your son. What? I promised that I would live up to your legendary achievements, but before I could do that, I had to see them for myself. The things I said to you, those words of wisdom, they were all yours. But Ferdinand lived long ago. He... <laughs> I'm afraid that was just Bodley's little joke. She's no historian, you see. She's a seer. She didn't tell you what had happened. She told you what was going to happen, about how I would become the first king to unite the whole world. So you did? I mean, you will? Yes, you started it all by uniting the five great realms, but there were plenty of others. Smaller, perhaps, but realms just the same. Each with its own particular problems. Poverty, war, and any number of other things. None of them easy to solve. But solve them you did. One by one by one. And you? Yes. I, I carried on what you started. And in the end, I finished it. I come before you, a true king at last. I, Ferdinand, have brought together the peoples of every nation under the heavens. The great work my beloved father began is finally complete, and the world stands united under a single banner. I hereby swear, in the name of King Evan, 
to safeguard this hard-won peace for as long as I shall live. And with that, my promise to Nella was fulfilled at long, long last.
will be arriving at the World Unification Summit shortly, Mr. President. Thanks. <laughs> you seem happy. <laughs> Not really. We still have a mountain to climb. I can't imagine convincing all the nations of the world to sign up to this will be easy. It's never been done before, I guess, but if you could pull it off, wow. <laughs> oh, it's been done all right. Really? <sighs> sure. In a little country a long, long way from here. <laughs>